Hi, first graders. It's that time again. Guess what? You have this book. I want you to press pause on the video, run and get your literature anthology. Guess what? We are on our second week in unit four. So once you get your copy out, go ahead and turn to page 36. We are on the story called Animal Teams. I hope you turn to page 36. The title of our story is called Animal Teams. This week's story genre is nonfiction. And I know you guys remember that genre is just a fancy word for a certain type or style of book. Nonfiction stories are about facts or real events. People usually read nonfiction books to learn. The author uses charts, photos, and facts to help you learn. Okay, this week's essential question asks, how do animals help each other? Hmm, we're gonna read about unusual animal partners. All right, get your finger ready so we can read our book. Animal Teams by Rachel Mann. Can a small bird help a big giraffe? Can a shrimp help a fish? Yes, they can. These may seem like odd friends, but many animals work together in teams. These animals help each other in lots of ways. Let's find out how. Some birds live off the backs of big animals. Why do animals let the birds stay? Well, the birds help. They eat bugs off the animal's skin. Yuck! The big animals help the birds too. They keep the birds safe. And it is a good deal for them because they have lots of sweet bugs to eat. The goby fish and the blind shrimp make a good team. The shrimp can't see, so the goby helps. The goby looks out for danger and the shrimp stays close. When the goby flicks its tail, it means that it is time to hide. The shrimp helps the goby too. It will go into a hole to hide. It lets the goby hide here too. The shrimp and the goby hide until it is safe to go out. Zebras and wildebeest live on the hot plains. They both like to eat grass all day. These animals are seen together a lot. Why? Well, they stay together because they can help each other find fresh grass to eat. They also help each other keep safe. If a zebra or a, or a wildebeest spots danger, it runs. This tells the rest to run too. Many fish want to eat the little clownfish. It needs a safe home, so it lives in a sea anemone. The clownfish is safe because most fish stay away. Why? The sea anemone stings, but the clownfish cannot feel its sting. The clownfish helps its partner too. It swims in and out, in and out. It chases away big fish that could hurt its pal. A caterpillar needs to be safe so that it can grow. Who will help? Ants will. Ants see the caterpillar and take it to a safe place. Why do ants do this? The caterpillar has a sweet liquid on its skin. The ants like the taste. Soon, the caterpillar will be a pretty blue butterfly. When a little cleaner fish wants to eat, 
it looks for bigger fish to clean. Why? Well, it gets a free meal when it cleans. A cleaner fish eats the pests off of other fish. The big fish want to be clean. They line up and wait for the cleaner fish to get to them. One is big and one is small, but the two are a team. When animals team up, they do what is best for both of them. Okay, in your Your Turn practice book, you're going to turn to page 166 and fill out this graphic or organizer. Sorry. This graphic organizer helps us to understand what we've read. And today, you're going to write about the main idea and key details. I want you to think about what the story was mostly about. And if you need help with that, why don't you look back at the essential question? It asks, how do animals help each other? And we were going to read about a story that had unusual animal partners. That gets my guess. That's probably the main idea. Now, some of the details you're going to look for are details in the story about the crazy animal partners and how they help each other. So if you go back through the book, we had the zebra and the wildebeest, the clown fish and the sea anemone, um, the ant and the caterpillar. There's so many different animal partners that you can pull a detail about why they're partners, okay? So let's say I wanna write about the zebra and the wildebeest. I can put in the box zebra and wildebeest help each other find food and warn of danger. That's my detail. Okay, here's your turn. Go find three different facts or details from the story. Put them in the box. All right, have fun. You might want to go back and read the story again.